All right. During, during this session, we'll look at online calculator. Um, in previous sessions, we discussed how to calculate the variable and subnet mask and also do the traditional subnetting um, manually. However, in the workforce, you're probably going to use some tool or automated tool to calculate those networks. And uh, we'll do that now. Okay, looking at the diagram, we need to determine how many networks there are and how many hosts we need on each of the networks. Okay. All right. Okay, we see we have. All right. This is one network with two hosts, right? So we'll go to the subnet, the variable length subnet mass calculator. We're going to put in our original um, ba of the base network, which is 199.199.199.024. I'll put it here, 199.199.199.0 slash 24, okay? And we said we had one network with two hosts. Mm -hmm. So we'll say network A has two hosts, okay? Here's another network. It has two hosts, right? This network has one, two, three, four, five, five hosts. This network has one, two, three, four plus 23, 27 hosts. And since we don't have uh, network E, network F, we need to get rid of those characters. How many subnets? One, two, three, four, four subnets. All right, and let's submit this. Voila. That's variable length subnet math. Can you do the biggest one first? I mean. Yeah, it started with the largest, and there's the, the mask in slash and decimal. The assignable range the broadcast address, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I said, in, in out in the workforce, you're probably going to use some tool that's similar to this. But however, if you are going to take the um, Cisco certification, the CTNA, you'll have to know how to do it manually because you won't have access to um, an automated tool. You're not allowed to use calculators or any other types of tools. Okay. In, in information you said about 85 percent of submit. Okay. So this time um, we'll take a look at a just your traditional subnet calculator. Let's imagine that we started with a base address of uh, 200, 200, 200, zero, and we determined that we needed eight subnets. So we select the, uh, enter the required number of subnet drop down. Then we click calculate, and then we go to list networks. Then we have the network address the host range, and the broadcast address for those eight networks, okay? All right, let's imagine that we needed to um, subnet a class B. Remember the class B? And we needed at least 500. Area 500 networks. 
Doesn't that pattern look familiar? Yeah. <laughs> 